Hey guys, James again for TFB TV. Today I've got the Mossberg Blaze 47, which is an AK style semi automatic 22 rifle. And I have to apologize, uh, you know, we're out here in the Louisiana swamp, it's hotter than hell and it won't stop raining. So I might have to take some cuts here and there. Uh, I also, before we get into this review, want to give a big shout out to Mike at Ventura Ammunitions, who's one of our new sponsors. Mike, thanks a lot and thank you, Ventura Munition. For, uh, for sponsoring the program. The Blaze 47 is obviously a 22 caliber rifle that's modeled after the AK-47. It comes with wood furniture, such as this one, or you can go synthetic and get either fixed or adjustable stocks. Uh, the difference being the, it'll save you about half a pound to go with the synthetic, whereas the, uh, the wood obviously is heavier and more expensive. It's about $30 to $40 more expensive. And that's kind of a, a funny thing that I want to jump into with this rifle. Um, this wood, the wood on these stocks uh, is, is actually really nice. It's much better than what you'd get like with a Wasser or any of your comparable surplus AKs. Uh, it, I mean, the, the furniture is amazing. But then you look at the receiver and the entire thing's plastic. It, it, it's all plastic. Um, and the juxtaposition of the, this handsome wood furniture with this, this almost toy-like receiver, is, it's a bit of a contrast. Now that said, uh, I'm not sure that there are better options in terms of metal for your typical 22s. Um, you know, you might have a, a, a zinc gun. Uh, and, and this certainly, the polymer, is going to keep this gun lighter and cheaper. So there are some benefits, but it really is sad to have you know nice solid wood stocks and uh, like an airsoft receiver. And to another similar feature of this gun, you've got the uh, these really nice um, these really nice fiber optic rear sights, and you've got an orange sight blade, which really isn't that bad. Um, but one thing that I discovered whenever I was uh, messing with the gun, I was there's a little Allen screw that you might be able to see here. And I took that off thinking that maybe there'd be threads underneath this thing, which would be awesome because you could, you know, hopefully they'd be half by 28 and hopefully you can put your suppressor on there. So I removed that. Uh, turns out this piece of plastic, it's the entire front sight base. Um, so I actually knocked off my, my point of impact, my point of aim, whenever I messed with, uh, with that Allen screw. So don't touch it. But, you know, it's also another drawback. Um, you know, it's kind of, you got one screw holding your entire front sight in. But then again, we're talking about a 22 caliber rifle here. Now, other features, you've got an ambidextrous safety, thumb safety, which is a really nice feature. It comes with 25 round or 10 round magazines. And I gotta tell you, these 25 rounders, um, even though they're plastic, very impressive, very impressive. Um, I, I've got a short little clip here of me feeding uh, some rounds into the magazine. The thumb stud on there, it's a, a textured thumb stud. It's a 16 and a half inch barrel with a 13 and a half inch length of pull. Uh, street price I've seen on the synthetics between like 250 and $270. And then like I said, another 30 or 40 bucks if you want the wood stock, which is a really nice touch. I could go on and on about the aesthetics of this gun all day, but really what matters is how does it shoot? Is it accurate? Is it reliable? And we're talking about a 22, so is it fun? So I've had the Blaze 47 for a couple of weeks now and taken it to a couple of range sessions, uh, put a few hundred rounds through it, and it's been 100% reliable so far. I actually went and read other reviews out there, um, not that any of those are relevant compared to the firearms blog, but, and it seems like other people had the same experience I did in terms of reliability. Uh, this seems to be a pretty reliable 22 caliber. And I feel bad earlier for making fun of it for looking like an airsoft gun. I mean, really, I, I can't say that I, I like the plastic receiver, but it's lightweight, it's inexpensive, it's got the cutest little rock and lock magazines with the cutest little paddle release and a, and a teensy little charging handle. And I did just notice that, you'll catch it on the video, uh, that knurled thumb screw will uh, that'll catch your your hand if you do uh, a magwell hold on this gun uh, not a big deal not going to chop your fingers off or anything but you know whatever and i got to tell you so far i mean this thing's been a blast it's like shooting a laser gun there's no recoil not bad pretty fun
Before I get to my final thoughts about the Mossberg Blaze 47, I want to say first, thank you TFB TV viewers and subscribers. Second, thank you to our sponsors, Grizzly Targets, the toughest steel targets on the market, and Ventura Munition. Now, as to my th final thoughts about the Blaze 47, um, what did I like about it? Well, it was fun, it was accurate, it's got a good price point, it's lightweight, it's about a quarter, half pound, uh, lighter than your standard Ruger 1022. Or if you're a fan of the AK-47 and you just simply wanted an AK-47 style 22, uh, the, the Blaze 47 is the way to go. As far as what I didn't like about it, um, like I said, I didn't like the plastic body. The furniture was great now, that wood furniture, but the plastic receiver kind of cheapened it a little bit. It, it's a really good gun, and, and I would have even thought that maybe making it a little bit heavier and uh, make, making it out of metal would have improved the aesthetic a little bit. That said, it's going to be corrosion resistant, it's going to be lightweight, it's going to be cheap. So you have your trade-offs there. All in all, it, you know, there are a lot of good 22 autos on the market. I can't tell you that the Blaze 47 um, is a must-buy, you have to get it, but there's really nothing wrong with it. And if you want an AK style auto-loading 22, that's the way to go. In any case, thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.